Tanzania's $14 billion, 4,669 kilometers, standard gauge railway to link East African railways. The Tanzania Standard Gauge Railway is being built as part of the East African Railway Master Plan to connect the country to its neighbors Rwanda and Uganda, and through them, to Burundi and the Democratic Republic of the Congo. The proposed Standard Gauge Train, SGR, will replace the outdated meter gauge railway system. The construction of a 220 kV main power transmission line for the Dar e Salaam Morogoro segment of the Standard Gauge Railway (SGR) train was announced in December 2020, with the project nearing completion. The transmission line connects the main Kinyarezi center to the Morogoro region and spans 159 km. The Tanzania Standard Gauge Railway is being built as part of the East African Railway Master Plan, connecting the country to its neighbors Rwanda and Uganda, and through them, to Burundi and the Democratic Republic of the Congo. The old Standard Gauge Railway will be replaced by the new one. The chief government spokeswoman also revealed that feasibility studies for the SGR connecting Tanzania and Rwanda had already been completed and the two countries were looking for project financers. The rail link is part of a $14.2 billion national plan to build 2,500 kilometers of standard gauge rail lines. Tanzania's new SGR is intended to replace the outdated and inefficient meter gauge railway system while also reducing traffic congestion. It is also expected that freight costs will be reduced by 40%. Each freight train will have a capacity of 10,000 tons, or 500 vehicle loads. The project is broken down into five stages. The first phase, Thir e Salam, is 202 kilometers long. The 1,219 kilometer, 160 kilometer per hour standard gauge railway is being built in five stages, the first of which is Morogoro. Phase two. Makitupora Morogoro Makitupora Tabora, approximately 80% of the new railway, will run parallel to the existing meter gauge line, with the remaining 20% built on new alignments. Hello, dear viewers. Thank you for joining us on another day on Africa Reloaded. In today's video, we'll look at how Tanzania's $14 billion, 4,669 km standard gauge railway would connect East African railways making movement within East Africa easier and facilitating trade links. Subscribe and turn on notifications as we learn more about this railway. The various phases of the project. The first phase was completed in April 2022 and is currently being tested in real time. It will travel 202 kilometers between Dar es Salaam and Morogoro, 126 miles. The second section spans 348 kilometers from Morogoro to Makutapura, 216 miles. This section was 81% complete as of February 2022. The third phase will cover 368 kilometers, with 294 kilometers of mainline and 74 kilometers of intersections, at a cost of $1.9 billion, or 4.41 trillion Tanzanian shilling. Construction will begin in April 2022. The fourth phase will be 130 kilometers long, stretching from Tabora to Isaka. The fifth stage will be held between Isaka and Mwanza, 249 kilometers. The various sections of the project and locations. The railway system would be divided into numerous sections. Section Dar e Salaam Morogoro a consortium led by Turkey's Yapi Merkezi and Portugal's Moda Injil was awarded the 300-kilometer stretch. The project's construction began in April 2017, and Yapi Merkezi has been documenting its progress with monthly video reports on YouTube. This portion was partially funded by the Export Credit Bank of Turkey, which contributed 1.2 billion US dollar. Phase 1 was completed to 42% in February 2019, 82% in June 2020, and 95% in December 2021. Electrical testing and live train trials began in late April 2022, after the infrastructure was completed. 
The six stations will include Dar es Salaam, Pubu, Soga, Ruvu, Ingeringer, and Morogoro. Every day, three trains will make round trips. Morogoro Makutapura Section the Dar es Salaam Morogoro Section Construction Consortium was also awarded this segment. The line connects Morogoro to Dodoma, the capital, and then to Makutapura in the Manioni district of the Singhvita region. It stretches for 426 kilometers, 265 mi. In September 2018, Tanzania's government received a US dollar 1.46 billion soft loan from Standard Chartered Bank to help fund this segment of the country's SGR. This section was 81% complete as of February 2022. After Morogoro, the stations would be Nkata, Kilisa, Kaidit, Golwi, Ivenda, Dodoma, Bahai, and Makutapura. Makutupura, Isaka section. This 435 kilometers or 270 miles Section is divided into two sections, one from Makitupura to Tabora, and one from Tabora to Osaka. The first section from Makitupura to Tabora has been assigned to Yapi Markazi. Construction will begin immediately after the foundation stone is laid in April 2022. Osaka Imwanza section. This section of the SGR line is approximately 341 kilometers long and runs to Imwanza on the southern beaches of Lake Victoria. In January 2021, the Citizen newspaper reported that two Chinese companies had been chosen to build this section of the SGR, China Civil Engineering Construction, CCEC, and China Railway Construction Company, CRCC will carry out the work at a cost of around 3 trillion Tanzanian shilling. Later that month, the East African reported that Tanzania had received $1.32 billion in Chinese government funds to build this section of the SG. Are the construction of this section is 4% complete. Isaka Rusumo Section This section of the SGR is approximately 371 kilometers long and is part of the Osaka Kigali Standard Gauge Railway, 231 miles. The estimated cost of constructing this stretch is $942 million. According to the East African Daily, the World Bank expressed its willingness to support the Osaka Kigali Standard Gauge Railway in April 2018. General Overview of the Project the goal of this railway line is to facilitate product transport between the port of Dar es Salaam and Kigali, Rwanda, and then to Bujumbura, Burundi, and Goma, Democratic Republic of the Congo. Surface water ferries are expected to transport products from Mwanza's Lake Port to Port Bell and Bukasa Inland Port in Kampala, Uganda's capital city. Tanzania's SGR system, like those in Rwanda and Uganda, is powered by electricity. Passenger trains will travel at a speed of 160 kilometers per hour, 9 to 9 miles per hour, while cargo trains will travel at a speed of 120 kilometers per hour, 7 to 5 miles per hour. How the project is being funded. Tanzania's government funded the first two sections of this standard gauge railway project through February 2020 with locally produced cash and short-term temporary loans. In February 2020, the government received a syndicated loan of 1.46 billion US dollar to complete the first two phases of the national SGR. The primary arranger is Standard Chartered, with the export credit agencies of Denmark and Sweden serving as major finance sources. The total contract value for the first two stages is $2.35 billion, with the Tanzania Ministry of Finance organizing $950 million in funding and Yap Merkazi managing the remaining $1.45 billion. <music> Benefits of the project In terms of macro and microeconomics, Tanzania SGR has a higher output advantage because it provides transportation and mobility as well as contributing to employment and the national economy, with the project expected to create around 600,000 direct jobs. By using an electric train rather than a bus, 
the modern railway is expected to reduce travel time. Road networks are currently congested because a large portion of freight is delivered by road. However, the SGR will relieve congestion by moving cargo by train. The Dar e Salaam Morogoro SGR project employed 8,303 people, 7,063 of whom were Tanzanians and 1,243 of whom were foreigners. The project is expected to have 20% locals and 80% foreigners among key personnel such as engineers. However, because locals make up 46.5% of the population, the quota has been exceeded. The SDR project's construction has recently been revealed to have numerous socioeconomic implications. According to the Tanzania Railway Corporation TRC, the ongoing construction of the first section of the SGR from Dar es Salaam to Morogoro has so far injected 307 million US dollars into Tanzania's economy through local subcontractors, suppliers, and service providers. Transportation network long-term viability and people's mobility are critical components of the Global Vision 2030 Agenda for SDGs. The researchers were able to show a correlation between the indicators used and the comprehensive sustainability evaluation, so this study concludes that these indicators are valid and can enrich future studies on railway sustainability in Africa. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more updates on our channel.